So, my Kerbal Space Program install is starting to become a bit of a mess. I have about 10,000 different save files, I've got no idea what each one even is anymore, I've got too many custom flags, the game data folder is filled with broken, outdated or defunct mods, and quite frankly, I just want to do a big cleanup since Kerbal Space Program is now complete, there's not going to be any more major updates, all my mods need to just be the most recent version, that should hopefully just be it now. So I deleted my entire Kerbal Space Program installation, I'm going to reinstall everything from the ground up and I thought you know what I'm gonna show my journey with the world and by the world I mean you dear viewer join me as I show you what I'll be doing to set my Kerbal Space Program install up to transform it from the greatest game of all time to the greatest game of all time with better graphics and massively enhanced gameplay options seriously some of these mods I consider to be absolutely essential now most gaming PCs and gaming laptops should run this without too many problems but for reference my PC these specifications are on screen just know that this is a pretty overkill system for Kerbal Space Program okay so first things first the download is complete so let's fire this bad boy up make sure it all works and set the initial graphics settings up so I'm going to go through the usual of just yada 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 yada, set everything to maximum, blah blah blah. Uh, and then I'm going to go into the gameplay options and just tick a, tick, tick, tick a couple of things. Most important one to tick is the advanced tweakables and the burn time indicator. These are both very, very useful things to have ticked. We can do a quick test and, you know, the game actually looks pretty good in stock. I haven't played uh, a clean install for a long time except on PlayStation 4 and the console version of KSP. We all know that doesn't look as good as the PC version. So it, it's it's kind of cool to see what stock Kerbal Space Program looks like um, fresh out the gate. But this could be better. It could be a lot better. So let's close all this down and start downloading things. Now I'm going to be splitting this up into kind of like two sections. The first section, we're just going to be beautifying Kerbal Space Program. Making it look as good as possible with absolutely zero gameplay enhancements. Then I'm going to add all the gameplay enhancements on top of that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is locate my local files. We're going to right click Kerbal Space Program on Steam and click on Manage and then Browse Local Files. That's how you get to the uh, where it is installed the easiest. Uh, you're going to go Game Data. This is the folder in which we're going to put all of our mods basically. So uh, let's start off by making the game look much better and then in the second part we'll add some gameplay enhancements. So first of all, we're going to install Module Manager. Now this thing on its own doesn't really do anything but it helps it makes all the other mods work basically so we're going to download the zip file there save it into our game data which is already my default download directory uh, okay that's done next up we're going to download planet shine planet shine what that does is it makes um planets reflect off the bottom of your ship that was a terrible explanation but basically if you're floating above a purple planet like eve then there's a purple reflection on your vessel that's basically the gist of it makes it look really nice okay scatter up this is a really big one this makes oceans look really really nice in addition to adding atmospheric light scatter but really the oceans are like for me the biggest part of this mod so i love scatter up we're gonna download that then we're gonna get eve or environmental visual enhancements which is a real mouthful so we're gonna call it eve Eve is really, really good, adds clouds, um, nice atmospheric textures, things like that. But I'm not going to use the uh, default Eve uh, texture pack. I'm going to use Astronomer's Visual Pack, uh, for which we need two things. We need the base, which is this thing here. So let's download that. And then we need the textures themselves. So as you can see, there are some mod dependencies. Eve, which we just downloaded. Scatter, which we've done. Uh, and module manager which we've done and textures which is uh, here so we're gonna get the 8k textures because I'm an epic gamer of course and uh, we're gonna get the optional AVP enhancements for Kerbin makes Kerbin's clouds look a bit nicer at the expense of some computing power but I think my uh, computer can handle that okay waterfall this makes engine sounds and engine plume effects much nicer don't know how I ever went so long without using waterfall absolutely love it don't think there's any other dependency with this one and then finally uh, stock waterfall effect so a bit like uh, astronomer's visual pack doesn't work on its own you need to get the uh, I guess the texture pack that goes with the mod so that's everything downloading Okay, so here we are in our game data file. Now, they all came as zip files. So what I'm going to do is just going to extract them all. So extract, and then we'll just delete the uh, the zip file. So uh, I'll probably just time lapse this because it's pretty easy. Just right click and press extract. Whilst it's time lapsing, I'm just going to quickly add that uh, the way I got all of these download pages was just uh, Googling the mod and then clicking on the first or second result on Google. So I didn't do any fancy searching to find these. So they should be pretty easy to locate on your own. 
Okay, so everything is now done, but unfortunately this probably won't work out of the bat because some of these folders need to be merged. So the easiest way to do this is just open each one. Let's start from the bottom to module manager. And uh, actually module manager is a bad example because that one is actually fine. But planet shine, aha, the game data folder, which is what this folder is, is buried here. So we're going to actually take this, cut it and place it into the main folder. And, uh, and there we are. <laughs> So now uh, it's no longer, let's get rid of that, there we go. So we're going to do that, so we're going to basically, if there's a game data file inside, we're going to take it and place it into the main da game data folder. Now some things like Scatterer, for example, it doesn't matter, but some of the mods like Eve and Astronomer's Visual Pack uh, won't work necessarily unless you do this. So uh, we, whoop. again, we could probably just time lapse this, can't we? <laughs> I think I misspoke, by the way. It's the uh, Astronomer's Visual Pack is the one that needs to be merged. But that's uh, that's everything. Everything extracted, merged. The Astronomer's Visual Pack is the one that needed lots of merging to have happen. So now is the moment of truth. We're going to open up Kerbal Space Program, see if this worked. My voice is definitely recording, right? Yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, so now we just sit back and uh, see what happens. Aha! And there we are. Doesn't that look... Doesn't that just look beautiful? <laughs> Let's uh, quickly load my test save file. Now I have bumped up the ambient lighting because um, of a YouTube video. I don't, it probably won't look too bad for you guys, but my ambient light levels are way higher than you probably ever want them because I film videos for YouTube and YouTube tends to make videos much darker than they uh, they were when they were filmed, just the way the, uh, the compression system works. So that's why my game is quite bright. Let's have a little look then. Because it uh, looks like Scatterer seems to be working because the ocean looked good and I could tell there was atmospheric scatter. Uh, we've got clouds, as was evident on the title screen and obviously there. So it looks like Astronomer's Visual Pack and Environmental Vision Enhancements are all working. And we've got a custom skybox, uh, which I believe is part of Astronomer's Visual Pack. So that all looks good. Let's see if Waterfall worked, which you can tell from the engine plumes. And yes, it looks like it has worked. So Waterfall is great. It's got like... First of all, the flames just look way nicer, but also as we ascend the, into the uh, oh, higher parts of the atmosphere, you can see the actual kind of uh, exhaust expansion increases as the, uh, there you go, as the ambient atmosphere, as the ambient pressure decreases. I'm really bad at this whole live commentary thing, aren't I? But there you are. Isn't that, isn't that look nice? And that's it. That's how you make Kerbal Space Program look way, way nicer. I mean, we can even, like, you know, see from other planets. Let's try and find. There's Eve. Eve is actually kind of annoying because um, you can't really see. Oh, I suppose you can actually see where the oceans are. That's kind of good. Uh, Gilly won't really look any different. Uh, Juna. Oh, I went past it. Can I go back? Oh, no, that's my steam. <laughs> well, you can use your imagination for Juna. Jewel will look pretty nice if it loads. There we are. Look at Jewel and Lathe. Oh. Oh, look at the Aurora Borealis. Isn't that, isn't that nice? So, uh, yeah. Uh, one kind of honourable mention would be uh, Games Links' Parallax mod. I've not gone with this just because I think it alters the game a little bit too far from stock gameplay for what I want to get out of my Kerbal Space Program videos. But I highly, highly recommend that video, uh, that mod. But <laughs> I highly recommend the mod and I highly recommend the video I did on that mod. Uh, it'll be a card on screen on, in the description if you want to see that. But it basically makes ground textures look a lot nicer and I cannot recommend it enough. But I've not gone with it in my install just because I kind of want my install to be as close to stock gameplay as possible. Uh, but with just nicer visuals if that makes sense. So, uh... So there we are, but I am not done yet. Uh, well, I'm just going to alt F4 out of this because we've made the game look a lot nicer now. And uh, we've got a bit of a mess of module managers, but you know what, it's fine. I'm going to now. So the first thing we're going to get is b -b -b camera tools. Now this is very YouTuber specific, but it lets you get lots of um, cool Doppler shots. Have you ever seen Cupcake Landers or any of my KSP movies like uh, Into the Warp or Green Harvest? I'm very dependent on the mod camera tools. I should do some really cool, interesting shots. Now, what have I done here? I've opened two tabs here and I can't remember why. Hopefully, hopefully this is fine. Okay, the next thing I'm going to get is Kerbal Engineer Redux. This adds a few more readouts on screen. It's not really 
as necessary as it used to be anymore because a lot of the features of Kerbal Engineer have now been added to the stock game. But I like it, again, from a YouTuber standpoint because it means that all my vessel statistics and all of that good stuff is always on screen at all times. You can reference uh, kind of what's happening at any point in the video. The next thing I'm going to download is Better Time Warp. Uh, does what it says on the tin, really. Makes Time Warp way better, way more manageable. You can have much faster Time Warp uh, settings and you can have Physics Time Warp faster than Times 4 which is good. Okay, toolbar controller. This doesn't really do anything on its own, but it's a bit like module manager in the sense that it makes other mods work. Uh, similarly, click through blocker, same sort of thing. Doesn't really do anything on its own, but uh, makes the other mods work. Okay, better time warp continued. Now I just downloaded this. I clearly should have checked which tabs I had open before doing this. Final one has its own schnazzy website. It's hyper edit and uh, download here. There we are. And uh, again, this is like not that necessary anymore because Alt F12 uh, does a lot of things that Hyper Edit does. But I think it's really useful for quickly testing things like ship balance. So it's really important to test things like SSTOs and other aircraft, uh, how they fly both when full of fuel and when completely empty. And Hyper Edit just lets you quickly change the fuel levels in a ship and also lets you tweak orbits and things like that for testing vessels. So I find it really useful. Um, but you might not as much. So the, the, these are the gameplay enhancements that I'll be using. Uh, I might use kind of parts mods in the future, but this is all now still... This video is more about enhancing stock rather than adding loads and loads of stuff to it. So we're going to do exactly what we did before with the beautification mods, which is just uh, extracting them all, first of all. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to time time lapse through this. <laughs> Okay, so then we're going to do the same thing, so now they're all extracted. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the beautification mods, which is just uh, getting them out of their... Um, so if I find an example, camera tools, getting to the game data, and then just extracting it and popping it in here. I don't think this is as necessary as it was for the uh, visual mods, because I don't think any of these need to kind of have things merged together, but it's just a bit nicer to have a sort of... I, I think it's better from an organization standpoint, really, for your game data folder to be kind of managed in this way. <laughs> You might disagree, but uh, that's uh, that's just how I like to do things here. I was going Hyperedit comes, so Hyperedit is Kerbal Tech, and it comes with flags. And I don't really like them, so I'm just going to delete those flags. They don't clutter up my uh, install. There we are. And if you want to, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to quickly neaten up the file names because uh, a bit easier to locate them then. <laughs> Hello, it's me from the future. Don't do this with tool toolbar controller and click through blocker. Leave them, uh, uh, leave their names as they are. Don't rename them because uh, I learned the hard way that 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 breaks the mod. <laughs> Just a bit nicer there. And Kerbal Tech, where are you? Actually, I know Kerbal Tech is Hyper Edit, but you might want to just change the name of this one to say Hyper Edit, so you actually know what it is. And then, oh, moment of truth time again. We're going to see if all of those uh, worked. <laughs> I don't actually know if it did. I'm doing this live, but in theory, it should work. Aha. Right. No more warning errors now. So hopefully, hopefully this worked. Uh, let's just double check. <laughs> Aha. Cool. And now the icons are here. <laughs> so, uh, Let's just fly. And I don't—I didn't actually showcase Planet Shine, did I, when I first checked that the beautification mods actually worked. So uh, we can quickly do—we can quickly do that. Uh, how do I turn this off? Um, oh, I keep thinking that's Kerbal Engineer, but it's not. It's the one that says Ker. There we are. Great. And uh, let's. Uh, just whack this into orbit. I've done that, that beautiful. I uh, put this in on the prograde vector. Let's get planet shine intensity. Let's just uh, whack that up. See? You can get nice. Well, there we go. That's uh, I'll probably play around with this. Advanced. Oh, I closed it. <laughs> That looks better, doesn't it? Um, um, uh, oh, I'm not gonna mess around with this. <laughs> we'll have a, I'll play around with it once it's done. But that's uh, well, there's my uh, tutorial on how to make Kerbal Space Program look better. Uh, oh goodness! I 
press the wrong button, but there we are. There's how you make KSP look really nice. So I hope this was a helpful tutorial. Uh, I'm certainly looking forward to playing this game now. It looks way nicer than it does in stock. And that's my video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Oh, my patrons are